Hello YouTubers! I just thought I'd post a quick video on my tool chest. It's a Halfords tool chest. Um, and it's a bit, bit, a bit of a strange setup I've got in there, but it, it suits me. There's, there's lots of different things for different types of jobs. Not all mechanical that I do. Um, so, on the top here I've got my little knife sharpening device and a magnetic tray, which is kind of handy. Uh, in the top, I've got my chainsaw stuff, <laughs> I've got my spark plugs and spare parts, spare chain, chain sharpening kit also does my strimmers and everything else. I've got my wire brushes down here, a uh, bit of mix and match and stuff, leeches for my bike for repairing punctures, uh, cleaning tools, I've got a toothbrush and a cleaning tool, allen keys, an adjustable spanner and a magnetic pickup thing which is handy when you've got something you can't get to. Not forget one of those LED lights which are really handy. Uh, in my little drawers, I've got all my bikey stuff, so chain rear indicator, these are for my Mavic Chrysler wheels, chewing them on my yellow road bike, uh, cable puller, spoke key for straightening wheels, uh, pads for when you take the wheels out of my mountain bike with the hydraulic brakes, I can just wedge them in. Uh, Spokey's Shimano SPD tool. Uh, again, these are from Mimrazic Collision Wheels. Um, spoke keys. It's an SPD pedal tool for my shoes. Uh, and I've also got one of these little things here which does a number of uh, little things. Little uh, gadgets off. I've also got my little valve converters here, which converts valves to different types for when I'm pumping up tyres. Right, in the middle one, I've got my cone spanners, these are wheel cone spanners, bottom bracket extractors, cassette extractors, um, chain splitter, that way does the uh, threads on your bottom bracket, pedals and wheels, uh, crank extractors, I've got a little converter here for the Holotech as well, which you need that for. Um, tie levers, again, cassette extractors, it does various of different things, that one. Uh, that's my middle drawer. Du -du -du. In here, this is my electrical testing bit. I've got my... That takes the sleeves off the wires, which is quite handy. Cable cutters, and I've got a testing tool as well, which is all I really need. Um, it does for my uh, testing of the Land Rover anyway. <laughs> it does everything I need. Right, uh, next one down again, this is a bikey one. I've got my fork pump from the Cannondale. I've got my headset spanners for the old-fashioned bikes. You don't need these anymore. Uh, bottom bracket tool for the Holotech 2. Adjustable cone spanners, which is that one. Chain rip for getting the cassettes off. For putting the uh, headset cups in. Uh, I need that and the various spaces, whichever size headset you've got. Inch, inch and a half or inch and a quarter. Cup remover. Again, get certain uh, things out. I've got my pedal spanners, which is I've got that one and this one for getting pedals off. This is a race remover from the Crown. Uh, you just bolt it on and smack it with a hammer. Uh, and my cup headset cup uh, compressor puts them on uh, with these spaces here. Uh, that does all that. So that's basically my bi bikey draw. Uh, down here, it's sort of pliers, grips, circlet pliers. Inside here, I've got a set, a bigger set of circuit pliers. If I'm honest, I accidentally got the wrong one, size ones off of eBay and I've never used them. Uh, these were the size I wanted, but I thought, oh, I've got them now, so I might as well keep them. Uh, my half inch drive socket set from Halfords. A few additions. I needed a 28mm for some reason at some time, so I had to buy a 28. It's, uh, I've got a 27 deep socket as well. Obviously, I've needed one of them sometimes. This is a handy one. It's it's one of those ones that uh, grips anything basically. Uh, I've got that and just another. I don't know where that came from, but I've got it. So it's just down there. That's my socket. I got this half price. It's a Halford set. Very good. Not had it that long, but I've never had any trouble with them. Uh, the next socket set down. See, that was the half inch. This is the three eighths. Mostly everything in here is three eighths. I've had this about ten years. This set. Uh, it's my socket set. It's my. Um, that's the AFs. 
and this is the millimeters. Uh, I've got the stars and the Allen keys. That's my normal. That's my AF again. Nice little ratchet. Nice little uh, socket, rather. Uh, and again, I've got the big one there. The normal. That's quite handy to have sometimes. I've not used this yet, but I saw that. I thought, well, that'd be handy. And it's a flexible drive. You can bend it in all sorts of directions. Uh, I've not actually used it yet, but uh, I just saw it and thought, ooh, good idea. I could do one of them. Um, this one, I've just got set with a bottom bracket extraction tool on, and it just stays like that. It's normally the one I use, actually, if I'm removing a bottom bracket off a bike. Uh, a nice, this is half inch drive. It's a nice long one. Uh, but it's got the, uh, I've, I've, I've made a smaller converse on that, so it goes to 3 eighths as well. And um, this is down here, though it's half inch, which is my torque wrench. Again, it's all Halfords, it's a good one. That does 60 to about 120, and this does about 20 to 60. Uh, this is a 3 eighths one. So I've got all my torques covered. This is a nice little piece of kit. Hardly used it, but it gets... It's always difficult doing it one-handed, isn't it? But it's a Sealy, and it's a extractor set, and it works in both directions. So if you get an anti-clockwise thread, it should also grip it and take that off as well. A lot of extraction bolt, uh, extraction kits, they only work in a, in a one direction for undoing. But if you get a left-hand or right-hand thread, it'll work either way. So that's quite a nice handy piece of kit to have. Uh, so it's the only thing in here that's not Halfords, really. And I've got my even smaller, again, this is something else I haven't used yet. Again, open one handed. Oh, I'm gone. There we go. Again, open one handed is really difficult, but uh, yeah, that's my little socket set for really small jobs. So uh, that's my socket sets, my spanners, again, all Alfreds. I've gone from 6mm to 24mm, which is as big as I'm ever going to need. They're all Halfords. My stubbies aren't Halfords because they had sizes missing. I hate having sizes missing. Uh, so this is a, it's only a cheap set, but I hardly ever use them. But they go from 10mm to 19mm, no gaps. Uh, Halfords, these are my... Uh, uh, oh, I forgot what we call them now. <laughs> Ratchet end spanners. Uh, they're very good. Uh, go from 8 to 19 and I've got these little things down here for doing my brake pipes and the likes of they're quite nice uh, spanners as well all Halfords apart from the stubbies and they do me well, they've all got lifetime guarantees on them I've never broken one yet so uh, it goes well also I've got this little thing and I can turn it into a ratchet as well so I can actually put sockets on with a 13mm next one down I've got my AF spanners there's two spanner sets there, I've got two every size, because sometimes you need to lock two, two bolts together the same size, so you need two spanners of the same size. I don't like using adjustables if I can help it. Uh, I've got a little axe there, spare blades. I've also got a big axe on my workbench. don't know if you can see it, sort of in the middle of the screen there. Uh, I've got my striking bit now, I've got all my hammers and my punches of different sizes. Impact screwdriver which is really handy if you can't get a bolt off or screw off you just get the correct size on and smack it with hammer this is my soft compound hammer which is handy the other thing I sometimes do if it's something delicate I'll just put a bit of wood on top of it and hit the wood so damaging whatever it is I'm hitting so here we have all my screwdrivers I've got my star key allens uh, my AFs metrics uh, Electrician screwdrivers are not the best ones, but I got them free with something else. Uh, my normal screwdriver set, ratchet screwdriver set, my little tiny screwdrivers, which are handy, and I've got various little pointy things and scrapers for getting at bits and pieces, which is always handy when you drop something in, like a rubber seal, you need to get it out, and a little scraper for getting all the uh, difficult bits getting large scrapers, getting stubborn gaskets off and the likes of. Um, he lives just down there. So that's my screwdriver drawer. Next one down is a bit of odds and sods really. I've got my nut splitters which are down here for when, they, uh, um, when I can't get anything off. 
Uh, I've got my files. Uh, yes, I've got a wood plane. I just, well, I live in an old house. My uh, doors always seem to swell up. A sharpening stone and getting the right angle on the blade kit. Measure, I've got my measuring tools down here, which is scales and digital calipers. And I've got a little screwdriver down, a little uh, measuring tools. Ruler. Safety goggles. Uh, this is when I had my JCB. It's a wheel brace. I haven't got the JCB anymore. But I've still got that. Uh, for bending pipes, brake pipes, which is handy. Uh, da -da, them back there. So that's that drawer. Again, that's a mix and max of things. And down here, final drawer. Uh, this is a little tool I made myself for putting the shock absorbers on the Land Rover. Uh, you can also get a socket and cut a groove out of it, but I don't have any spare sockets, so a bit of wood dead. That's for my motorbike stand, bleed kits for my mountain bike, bleed kits for the Land Rover, or a car. Uh, I've got that Rise of the Clutch Fluid video, and I'm using that. Grease gun, nice big grippy uh, vicing. I can use that for getting things off. Just very handy. I've got my lever bars, various sizes, from big to little. Um, comes in handy. Anyone with a Land Rover will know this. Box spanner for getting the hubs off. Ball joint splitter. Comes in handy for getting all the trap rod ends off. I have riveter. I don't know why I've got that because I haven't got a spark plug, but it's a spark plug extractor. And that's that. That's my toolbox. So you all in a Halfords tool chest. Uh, I actually got a deal, I bought the bottom one and you get the top bit free, which is nice. A lot of the tools I've got a trade card for, with the Halfords. Um, I've got the Halfords trade card, so I get a lot of the tools. So that's another reason why a lot of my tools are Halfords, is because of that. Right, thanks for watching, I shall post another video soon. Thank you, bye bye.